For today's project, I'm going to show you how to validate JavaFX text field for whole numbers. Now in this example we're going to create, you can see here we've got a text field input. As I type in a number, I'm actually outputting the key press down the bottom here so you can see what goes on. If I type in a letter, it'll display an error image and an error message. And you can see the letter I've typed out here. It'll also signify this by a beep sound which is simple to do. If you actually continue on to type in your actual number and exceed the stipulated length of the text field input that you've set, it'll also indicate an error as well. You can also delete and input anywhere. Basically what I've done here, we're tracking the cursor caret so it seems seamless to the end user. If I enter something invalid, and then click somewhere else, it'll also remove the error message. If they enter something invalid, and then something valid, it'll also remove the error message. The other thing too, is if they try and cut and paste, it'll also prevent this, because this could exceed the actual maximum stipulated field length. Okay, let's start by opening up Scene Builder. Now in Scene Builder, what we have here is basically just a text prompt, which is just prompting the user to enter a number. We have a text field for a text field input. In the code section of this, we have an um, FX ID to identify the text field in the code. And we have two actions, basically on key typed and on mouse clicked as well, which you will see in the code in NetBeans. Now the other thing we have is an actual image for the error message which also has an FX ID and the error label which has an FX ID. Now over in NetBeans we have all the code coded. If you wanted more explanation about the code watch my JavaFX text field validation project where I'll explain how these classes are coded fully and how to set up JavaFX projects and run them. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and on my website to receive all the code. Okay, we just have our main class here, which is everything to stage the scene for the FXML scene builder created project. And over here we have the validate, which is what we use to control the FXML created project in scene builder. And in here we actually create two instances of our objects that we need for this particular text field input. If you have multiple text field inputs, you create more than one instance for the validate text field. But for the returned object error message, obviously just recreate the one because it's only used once for each um, return. Up here is the validate text field class and the error message class. Now in the FXML validate number class, any couple of things I've changed is just a little bit of the code. I've just added in this beep sound in here. If we actually detect an error message being returned from the Boolean from the object, once we try to validate that text field input and also just the image itself that we display to the actual screen. And if we actually go to clear the error message itself, we just remove that image down here. Over here in the validate text field is where we basically are validating the actual input. Now the difference here between the previous code that I've shown you is we're basically just checking to see if it is a digit itself. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and on my website to receive all the code. Now in the next video, it'll be a little bit different uh, for a decimal number where I'll just show you the actual project itself. Quickly in this one, basically we'll have the same error procedures that we're using and I'll be outputting the actual characters that we type in but the added extra feature is the fact we'll be testing for a decimal point and the user will be only able to enter in one decimal point. This will be done logically uh, without using any uh, complex and long regular expression and uh, by doing this it'll also seem seamless to the end user and you'll be amazed how easy it is to do. I look forward to showing you this in the next project.